jewels, you wear them or you show them. <laughs> right? Imagine God pulling you out there out of eternity and says, I'm my jewels. <laughs> I like that. Isn't this beautiful? <laughs> for God to show you off. Or for God to actually, you know, some kind of way, I don't know how we do it, to wear you. <laughs> when he's making an impression upon the universe, he comes out with his jewels on. And you're his jewels. Wow. 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 This is Dan on his neck. <laughs> <laughs> on his arm. And on his wrist. And on his clothes, you know. He's decked out with his jewels, which is you. How do you get that? Talk about it. Talk about it. He's going to hear it. Here's the last part of the class, I think. He took this class so many different directions already. The children of Israel, go back to Numbers. And tonight, when you go home, sometime between now and Sunday, go through the trials, the proving, the temptation that we've covered so far, and no one thing is missing. They never, ever praised him for what he did. Nobody ever praised him before the Red Sea. Moses started a testimony service. Gave my God should go. But when God gave them water, the rock, everything God did for them, you never read one place where the congregation praised God. They just took the blessing, saw his works, and moved on to the next situation. Got sick, God healed them, moved on to the next situation. Called on God the next time he got sick. He got healed again. How many healings can you testify about? How many times has God healed your body? How many times has God taken you from the brink of just you know, financial ruin? Yes. How many times has God kept you in your house? Yes. Huh? There's so many things that God's done for us, but we're like Israel. We don't take time to praise and thank God for the things He's done. We're going to the next adventure. And nobody gets to hear about it. It's a quiet situation. You know, just to go out and, you know, I, I've seen, I met some sinners sometimes that come out and at the bus stop and say, I got to tell somebody the Lord did for me. They ain't saved, it's obvious, they don't go to church, but the Lord did something for them, and they just come out talking. And somebody is always going to hear it. Because right. God raises up ears to hear his, his testimonies. Uh, yeah. you know, nobody's going to get saved. You don't know that. That's not the issue anyhow. The issue is that he's who he is and he needs to be praised. That's right. That's right. He deserves to be praised. He demands to be praised. And if we don't do it, he wrote to Jerusalem. <laughs> They cried Hosanna in the highest. And the Pharisees and the chief priests and the elders, they got mad. He told me, tell, tell them to be quiet. Jesus said, if they be quiet, the rocks will cry out. Somebody's going to praise me. And I think, they were, I think, I think the stones would have literally cried out. You got all these people waving palm leaves and everything, putting their coats in the road for them to right on and praise me. Praise so much that the church gets upset about it. Upset the church. <laughs> no? The world doesn't seem to mind you praising him. <coughs> it's not supposed to get saved. We just praise him. Yeah. Talk him up a little bit. Yeah. Tell him what he's done for us. Yeah. We got testimony on top of testimony on top of We got store yeah. testimonies. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We got right. boxes of testimonies. Yeah. 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 Just trying to, trying to dust the box off, roll up those testimonies, and say it. Amen. 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 Say so. Amen. 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 The scripture of Mark, I think. <laughs> Hebrews. <coughs> Chapter 11. Verse 13. These all died 
in faith. Not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed. Testify. Confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth, for they that say such things declare plain that they seek a city. How do I know we seek one? We ain't say nothing. I think I preached a message a long time ago. So they will say so. Abraham and Sarah, they said they say such things. It wasn't just in their heart. Let them go to heaven one day, nobody knows about it. They confessed they were strangers and pilgrims. They weren't trying to fit in. They knew they were misfits and it was okay and they confessed that fact. And then it says, for they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a coming. What are we saying? What are you saying? Time to say something. Amen. All right? Amen. 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 Amen